Hi everyone, it's Flackfire. Happy 2016 to you. Now that 2015 is over, it's time to look at the future of gaming for the new year. While it's likely that many games have yet to be announced or don't have concrete release dates, there are several of them that at least do. Of these games, some of them have gamers counting down the days until they hit platforms and PCs. So what are some of the most anticipated? While we all have different standards and preferences when it comes to games, I, for example, enjoy games with deep storylines that draw you into the characters and their world. Games that make you make decisions and then actually make you live with those decisions. Unsurprisingly, if you asked me what my favorite game of 2015 was, I'd have to say Fallout 4, which I actually have yet to finish 170 hours in, so, what am I looking forward to most in 2016, and why? Well, let me break that down for you. I'll start with a disclaimer. This is a short list. I could have made a top 10 list, but I felt that negates the exclusivity and excellence required inherently by such a list. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? I also chose games based heavily on the likelihood of innovation, so you're not going to see Call of Duty and, to a lesser extent, Battlefield on this list. Similarly, there are undoubtedly games that will be released in 2016 that have yet to be announced, but these are my top five anticipated games for 2016. Number five is Quantum Break. I love cerebral games. Some of the most treasured game experiences I have come from games that really push the boundaries of realism, logic, and often sanity. Brothers at Arms Hell's Highway follows one World War II infantryman who's losing his battle to retain his sanity. Meanwhile, another game, Alan Wake, chronicles one author's very real battles with personal demons of his own creation. And that latter game was developed by the folks at Remedy, the same devs behind the upcoming game Quantum Break. Admittedly, we don't know much about the game yet, but what we do know is that it involves time manipulation, and that's reason enough to be excited. There's great potential for a psychological thriller with Quantum Break's premise, and the people at Remedy do this best. Quantum Break will hit store shelves in April 2016. Number four is Overwatch, and I have to admit I have not been excited about PvP games lately. Players have had little reason to be, in my opinion. Call of Duty and Battlefield have grown remarkably stale, and in general, FPS games as a genre seem to be unwilling to evolve and try new things. With Overwatch, I'm hopeful we might finally see some change. That game developed by Activision Blizzard features some memorable characters with interesting abilities. Overwatch has been delayed several times, which is not typically a good sign for a game, but it looks like we'll get the Quarter 1, Quarter 2 2016 release nicely polished on consoles. Overwatch would be ranked higher on my list, but uh, it doesn't have a single-player campaign, and I think that's really, really a shame since I saw the neat little trailer that Activision Blizzard put out, and uh, it was great. If you haven't seen it, click on the link on the screen. You won't regret it. It's wonderful, and unfortunately, I feel like it's a shadow of what things could be with Overwatch. Number three, The Division. I've been following The Division since it was first announced, and I could care less about the nice graphics or its new engine. What interested me was the gameplay and the overall game design. Play cooperatively with friends to save a devastated city. The open world game boasts a city that reacts to your decisions and progress. It also boasts a RPG player's favorite word, loot. But beware, you might have to fight for it against AI players, other live players, and sometimes even your friends. I'm cautiously optimistic for this game, but I have been disappointed by publisher developers Ubisoft before, which is why this game isn't ranked higher on my list. One of their other releases, Rainbow Six Siege, fell flat with me since there was no single-player campaign. I hope The Division has the story I crave. The Division is slated for release on March 8, 2016. 
Number two, Dishonored 2. For me, the original Dishonored game ranks as one of the biggest surprises of last-gen console games. It did not appeal to me at the get-go, but thanks to Microsoft's Games with Gold program, I was able to download and experience the game for free. It quickly became one of my favorites. The dark atmosphere, unique abilities, and interesting storyline drew me into the game. I was surprised to learn your in-game behavior actually influenced the final outcome of the game, so, for example, the less people you killed, the lighter the ending, and the more people you killed, the darker the ending it was. Dishonored gave the player the opportunity to get creative with abilities and kills, similar to what you'd see in Bulletstorm, which was a rather interesting last-gen game. I'm thoroughly excited to see where the developers in Arcane Studios take the Dishonored franchise next and how they will expand this world. We'll all find out sometime in 2016, as an official release date has yet to be set by publisher Bethesda. Before I get to the number one most anticipated game of 2016, I want to go through some honorable mentions. Of them, Far Cry Primal. It's a game that looks really, really cool. It's set in prehistoric times where you have to move from the bottom of the food chain back to the top. And uh, you know what? You can also control various creatures, including jaguars, mammoths, things along those lines, uh, while helping your tribe control the land. We've seen some early gameplay, which is good, and, well, while we don't know that much about the storyline, we have at least seen stuff that's entertaining. So uh, I am pretty excited about this game, but it almost made the list not quite. Far Cry Primal will be here sooner than you know it on February 23rd, 2016. Deus Ex Mankind Divided. For me, Deus Ex translates to wasted potential. Many players love the prequel, which was Human Revolution. That's totally fine. I get it. I loved Human Revolution, but unfortunately, I felt it suffered terribly because of poor user interface and a bad control scheme. And it wasn't just a bad control scheme. It was horrible. Who designs a game and says, you know what, everyone else is doing for a control setup and UI? Well, let's just ignore all of that. Apparently, Eidos Montreal does that. I really hope they make some adjustments for Mankind Divided. The storyline in Human Revolution will be difficult to top, and as long as they remove the controller and UI roadblocks, they've got a guaranteed blockbuster on their hands. You know, we saw other games try to work themselves more into that field. If you guys have noticed Combat and Fallout 4, a lot different than Fallout 3. They took a lot of cues from some of the FPS games out there today, and it shows on that game. Regardless, Deus Ex Mankind Divided releases August 23rd, 2016. And for the last of the honorable mentions, I'm going to pick Unravel. And Unravel isn't my typical game. In fact, it's the only arcade game on this list. The colorful side-scroller follows Yarny, a character made of string who connects the memories of a long-lost family together. It's physics-based as well, so you'll have to use your noggin to solve some pretty creative puzzles. I have enjoyed similar games like Double Fine's The Cave, which incidentally I highly recommend. We first saw Unravel at E3 2015, and it was adorable. It was a great great pleasant surprise and i'm interested to see what unravel brings to the table on february 9th 2016 lastly number one most anticipated game of 2016 is mass effect andromeda with the name like mass effect that's a game that redefined the genre of science fiction and video games Developer BioWare has just about perfected the space opera and brought role-playing games to a whole new level. Despite being purchased by the oft-maligned EA, BioWare actually put out a fantastic product in Mass Effect 3, minus the ending. It included both a stunning and emotional campaign and an absolutely addictive multiplayer experience. The Mass Effect universe is extremely well-built and diverse in comparison to other space-located games like Halo, and the Bioware team knows exactly what to do with it, even more so following the reception of Mass Effect 3's ending. As a developer, Bioware is great at taking and sorting player feedback to improve the overall experience, and that's another reason this game ranks number one on my list. 
It's easy to forget the studio behind Mass Effect has another IP since it's set in an entirely different time frame. I'm of course talking about Dragon Age Inquisition, which was critically praised across the board by video game news outlets, and rightfully so. That game was massive. It contained great writing, characters, combat, and player decisions. Players forged a unique identity of their Inquisitor and also invested a piece of themselves within that character. Given Bioware's love for Mass Effect, the design and subsequent success of Dragon Age bodes very, very well. Mass Effect Andromeda promises a new protagonist, new companions, though there will never be another Garrus, and new locations. Development of the game seems on track despite director Chris Wynn parting ways with Bioware back in November. We have seen Mass Effect titles delayed in the past, so let's hope it's not necessary this time around. We'll be keeping an eye on the game as the release date nears. Mass Effect Andromeda is expected holiday 2016. What did you think of our list? Did we get it right? Did we forget something? What are your most anticipated games for 2016? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.